Hi everyone, this is Brian Sa here. Thanks for joining today's Office Hours. We'll be talking about uh, Desk Connect and uh, how to synchronize your data between Desk and Salesforce. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump in right here, uh, moving to the next slide. Again, my name is Brian Sa. I'm the onboarding and training specialist here at Desk. And we have with us here today, Amrita. Uh, she's part of our WOW team. Uh, Amrita, do you want to give a brief introduction of yourself and kind of what you do here? Sure. Hi, everyone. My name is Amrita. I'm the Customer Wall Specialist within the support team at Desk. And today I'm going to be talking about Desk Connect and how to synchronize data between Desk and Salesforce. So welcome to the webinar. All right. Thanks, Amrita. Uh, so before we begin and jump into the content, uh, we'll talk about just a few housekeeping items. Um, the training portion of today's office hours will be just about 30 minutes. And then we want to save a good amount of time for any questions that you guys have. So even during the training, while uh, Amrita is kind of showing you guys around, feel free to type away your questions um, into the GoToWebinar, GoToWebinar questions panel, and we'll get all of those answered towards the end. Um, and today's session is also being recorded. So if you can't stay with us for the entire time, or if you do want to review the webinar after, if you want to maybe uh, watch the webinar and walk through kind of the setup process at the same time, simultaneously. Uh, we will send out the recording and post it to our YouTube channel as well. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Armin's going to walk you through the next couple of slides here. It's all yours. All right, thank you. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, let's understand what Desk Connect really is. So Desk Connect is a bi-directional sync between Salesforce and Desk, meaning that you can sync data from three main objects, which is cases, contacts, and accounts, between Desk and Salesforce. What does Desk Connect really do? Like I said, it will sync your three standard objects, which is the account, contact, and case objects from Salesforce over to Desk uh, into the case, customer, and company objects. It will also sync all case interactions from Desk into Salesforce and all case interactions from Salesforce to Desk. By case interactions, I mean all of your customer replies and responses from your agents or any other activity happening on the case. And the best thing about Desk Connect is that it supports reports and dashboards. So when your case is synced to Salesforce, you will be able to create reports and dashboards off of the standard case object, which makes it real simple uh, in, as opposed to using the custom object. So moving on. So why connect sales and service? What is the real purpose of Desk Connect? So for example, say you have a team which is a sales team, and then you also have a support team, and they communicate with each other regarding customers and their issues and profiles and such. So if your support team is using Desk because of the support software, like because of the cases they're working on, but your sales team is working off of Salesforce, then you can actually share data between the two teams via your contacts and accounts. So your sales team will have more insight when talking to customers because they will be seeing all of the cases from desk. They will get to see customer problems and they will be able to address them quickly and also predict customer issues and be proactive on any other upcoming issues. For the services team, they can have better conversations with customers because they know what the sales story is like. So they will be in constant touch with the sales team from Salesforce because they will be seeing all of the activity on the contact account and case object. And they'll be more efficient and understand the full customer history coming from Salesforce. All right, so before getting started, there's a, there are some important things to consider. Uh, when we enable Desk Connect. So here are a few things you need to remember pre-enablement. The subscription should be professional edition and above for the Salesforce customer. And you need to make your standard priority fields as high, medium, and low, and your case status fields as new, open, pending, and resolved. I will definitely be showing you, showing you those in the demo as well. And the desk plan needs to be pro plan and above. So if you're on a standard plan, we all will always recommend you to convert to the pro plan and to, to be able to enable Desk Connect. Object mapping. Like I said, the customer object maps with the Salesforce contact object. 
we need to make sure that all of the fields from the customer object are mapped correctly with the contact object in Salesforce. Similar applies to company and account and case and case. And then a standard case object is visible within layouts. So this I'm going to show you in the demo what I mean by the case object is available for the layouts for contacts and accounts. Okay, I think I just covered all of this. All right. Important things to consider post enablement. So now you have your desk connect enabled. You need to remember these things. Uh, only new and edited records are synced, meaning that if you had any historical cases or contacts before you enable desk connect, those will not be able to sync unless you update them. But however, new cases that you create after desk connect is enabled will, will get synced directly. Desk Connect works off of the standard case object in Salesforce. So your case object in Desk will be linking directly with the standard case object in Salesforce and not any other custom object. Syncing time. For the sync from Desk to Salesforce is immediate, so it's instantaneous, meaning that if I create a case in Desk, I should be able to see it the next moment in Salesforce under Cases. However, if you create a case in Salesforce, it might take up to about five minutes to come to the desk. Standard field mappings. Here are the standard field mappings that, that do not need any customization or manual intervention. They will be syncing directly when you turn Desk Connect on. So the fields that sync directly are status, priority, subject, and description for the case object. For the contact object, we have name, title, phone and email that will sync directly with Salesforce. And for account, only the account name will sync with, with the company name and desk. Custom field mappings. Now, apart from the standard fields, if you wanted any custom fields to sync between your desk and Salesforce orgs, then you can definitely create custom fields on both ends and map them together. I will be showing you these in the demo as well. And so the thing to remember is that only four types of fields are supported at the moment. So you can create a text field in Salesforce which maps with the text in desk. A pick list in Salesforce will map with the list type in desk. The checkbox type in Salesforce maps with the true and false type in desk and the date will map with the date in desk. Case, num case number is not synced by default at this time, but it's achievable with custom field mapping, meaning that you can create a text field and input numbers in it, and that could just work as a number field. And the, the best thing about Desk Connect is that it does not count against Salesforce API limits, so you do not need to worry about API limits or any other API integration stuff. You know, once you turn Desk Connect on, you don't need to worry about anything else, but just cases syncing. All right, so walk through. So now I'm going to show you how to enable Desk Connect from the desk end as well as the Salesforce end. I hope you guys can see my screen. I have um, three tabs open here. So I'm going to start with the admin tab first. So this is my desk.com admin site. So you know, if you guys ha already have Desk Connect enabled, you, you need to jump into this admin uh, screen. And then I'm going to click on Settings. So just a few things to remember, if you have already put in a request for Desk Connect enablement, you should be able to get an email from us saying that Desk Connect has been enabled. Only after we enable it from our end should you be able to see this tab right here. If you don't see it here, that means we haven't enabled it from our systems end yet. So let us know if you still want a Desk Connect to be enabled. So I go in my settings, I click on Desk Connect, uh, and then if you don't have Desk Connect turned on, you will not see any of this. You only see a toggle here, so I want you to go and turn Desk Connect on from here if you're ready. And then once you turn this on, you will be actually seeing a 30 second counter counting down. So you need to wait till the counter counts to zero. And what it's doing basically is establishing a connection between Desk and Salesforce, just reading all the fields. It's not really syncing any data yet unless until you see this on, but it's only establishing a connection. Once that counter goes away, you should be able to see this screen here. Now, this screen is basically how the bidirectional sync can be set up. And there are three tabs here, company, customer, and case. Now, these three tabs are 
synchronous with the three objects in Salesforce. Company syncs with accounts, customer syncs with contact, and case syncs with case. Now, like I said, it's a bi-directional sync. You have the option of turning any of these syncs on or off, depending on how much data you want to sync from desk to Salesforce. Now, for example, company. Now, I have Salesforce to desk and desk to Salesforce, both of them on, meaning that data from the company tab is syncing with the account tab in Salesforce. Similarly, data from the account tab is syncing with the company tab in Salesforce. Similarly, with customers, I have both the toggles on, meaning that customer updates are going back and forth from both ends. And cases, the same thing. I have Salesforce desk on, which means all cases that are created or updated in Salesforce are syncing to desk and are syncing back to Salesforce as well. Now, once you have this set up, I just want to have, I just want to give you a brief introduction to what field mappings are all about, and then we'll move on to Salesforce and see what we need to do in Salesforce. So this is a field mappings tab, and then again we have three tabs, company, customer, and case. And like I told you guys, uh, if you want any other customizations around fields, like if you want any other custom fields to be visible on the Salesforce end, here's the place you map the fields together. So under the case tab, I have a Salesforce column, and I have a desk column, and I have all of these custom fields that I am able to map between Salesforce and desk. And whenever I make an update on one of the fields, the, the corresponding value shows up on the field in, on the Salesforce end. I'll definitely be showing you, showing you this uh, on the Salesforce end as well. So similarly for customer and company, we have three tabs for field mappings. Just one thing to remember is we have two, uh, two categories here, mappable fields and non-configurable fields. Non-configurable fields are the ones you cannot change. They, they cannot be added or you know, removed. They will still remain. All you can do is change the mapping from here, but you don't, you, it's recommended to not touch these standard field mapping values. Um, that's about it from the desk end. Once you've enabled, you're good to go. Now let's go to Salesforce and see what really we need to do. So first thing we need to do is, let me go to setup. So this is your Salesforce um, org, and you have your admin by clicking on the setup button from the top right corner, and then you want to look for cases. So you go to the build tab here, I'm sorry, the build section, and then you look for cases, and then the drop down for cases you have fields. Now, I'm going to be checking two main fields here, status and priority. So let's see. Okay, priority field. So like I said in the demo, in the, in the slides, that you need three values to be fixed for the priority field. Those are high, medium, and low. If you want customized values for the priority field, you can have them, but then remember that there will only be a one-on-one -on -one mapping between the two fields. So right now, we recommend that you have high, medium, and low if you don't want any other customizations. So, and then let's go to status. Um, status needs to be exactly what's in desk. So it's new, open, pending, and resolved. I do have a closed value here, but I would recommend if you don't have closed cases or don't really use this, you do not need the closed mapping because Close and close do not map between desk and Salesforce. If you close the case in desk, it does not close in Salesforce and vice versa. So all you need to have is new, open, pending, and resolved mapped, mapped between, uh, mapped under the field mapping section in desk. So this is it from the field section. Now the last thing we want to do is add the case related list onto the contact and account page layouts. So I'm clicking on contacts here. And make sure you have your account contact and case tabs right here on, on, your, on the top of the screen. So it's easier to refer to, like, look for cases and accounts uh, directly from here instead of looking from, from, uh, from the tab here. So this is my contact. These are my contacts. I'm going to click on a test contact here. And I'm going to make sure that the case-related list is already on the page layout. So click on Related Lists. These are a bunch of options I have to add stuff onto my screen below. So Related Lists is what I'm looking for. 
and if you can see cases right now is grayed out which actually means that cases is already present on the page layout here so if you don't have it you just need to drag and drop like I'm doing for content deliveries just dragging and dropping the object below on the screen and then hit save and that's it okay and then the same thing for accounts I am going to open a a test account let's see and going to make sure that the case related list is also on the page layout for accounts so there you go I have cases already grayed out which means they're already there one more thing to make sure is make sure that the, uh, the contact of the related list is also on the page layout so you can see contacts and then cases under them under the same screen so that's it so there you go so this is all that I have to do in Salesforce and then once I'm done with the setup I can start creating cases in desk which will sync to Salesforce and will sit under the cases tab here so that's about it and now if you have any questions uh, Brian we can go over all of the questions that they have all right thanks Amrita uh, so as Amrita said um, if you have any questions, feel free to type them into the GoToWebinar questions panel. Uh, we do have a small group here for the webinar today, so I do encourage you guys to ask your specific workflows and uh, any questions that are particular to your comp uh, to your organization or companies, uh, feel free to ask those. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started here for the first one. Uh, let's see, what is the difference between using Desk Connect and using light integration using desktop.com packages for Salesforce integration. Uh, benefits of using Desk Connect over the, over the other method of integration? That's a very good question. So Desk.com Salesforce integration is the managed package that we used to use until a few months ago. And then when we rolled Desk Connect out, we started recommending customers to use Desk Connect. So the real difference is that whenever you have the Salesforce integration, meaning the Desk.com package installed, you get a desk.com cases custom object created automatically in, in Salesforce, which then contains all of the cases that are coming from desk. And then in desk, all you get is, let's open a case here. In desk, um, da, da, da. in desk, you get to see like a Salesforce widget for the corresponding contact and account in Salesforce, but that's about it. So with Desk Connect, what happens is your cases in Desk directly sync under the Cases tab in Salesforce, not the Desk.com Cases tab. So the benefit of using Desk Connect is that you directly get to use a standard case object, meaning that you get to do all of the standard reporting and creating dashboards of the standard case object, and you also get to use all of the standard functionality of Salesforce for the standard case object. The second uh, benefit is that you get to use a standard case object in reports. So there is some differences between using custom objects in reports versus standard objects. And I know that there are a lot more you can do using standard objects for your reporting purposes. Um, the third uh, benefit would be that you get to see much more than just this. If, you, if you're only using the integration, you're only seeing this information, that's it and then you actually want to click here and go into Salesforce and then you do not have any sort of um, sync between the contact and account object as well so but in Desk Connect if you update any field on the contact uh, object in Desk you will be able to see the field updated in the contact object in Salesforce so a lot of benefits of using Desk Connect versus the integration but then it's again up to you what you want to use uh, according to what your business process is. Okay, uh, thanks Amrita. So another question here, is it possible to only show open pending cases in Salesforce? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So what you can do is, uh, in this case, you would need to use Selective Sync, which will only sync cases for which the custom field for that is true so this is this would somehow be a manual process because you will have to create let me show you you will have to create a custom field of the type list 
and put values yes and no and then manually check if the case is open or pending and if it is then you know you you select yes on that custom field value and then under let's see under this section here so from desk to salesforce you enter a condition and your field will uh, should appear here if you've created it correctly and then you say sync with sf is yes then sync all the cases to salesforce so you can do that but it's going to be a manual process where your agents would have to check whether the case is open or pending and depending on that this field goes to yes but however you don't need to do it manual all the time because you have rules at your disposal in desk you can create rules for case updated so whenever the case is made open or pending you can create a rule that updates that salesforce to sync to salesforce uh, field to yes and then your updates will go over automatically so yeah, that's possible. Okay, uh, next question. Uh, the desk connect field mappings appear to show virtually all of the fields we have created in Salesforce. Obviously, we don't want to use all the, these in desk.com. How do we pick and choose what comes over to desk once we have fields selected? I'm not sure I understood the question correctly, but if, let me see here. If you're talking about the field mapping section, if you create a field and give in multiple values, for if, for example, if it's a list type field and you put in multiple values, all of these values will be available to choose from under your field mappings page. So, for example, I don't have a list field here. Okay. And it looks like, I mean, a follow-up to that question is, uh, once mm -hmm. we have field mapping selected, how can we test that these fields are correctly being applied to our cases? Uh, yeah, to check that, you can update a field in desk and then wait for it to sync to Salesforce. And under the, the same name in Salesforce to which it is mapped, it'll show you the value that's in desk. So that's the way to check it. So let's see, I don't have the correct... Um, so, for example, if this is my field that I've mapped with Salesforce, whatever I update here should be mapping with what I update here, what I map it with, and then I go to Cases, and then under the Cases object, I will have a field that will show up, I'll have a field that will show up somewhere here that will that'll show me the name that I entered in, in the field uh, on my desk end. So that's the, that's the way to check, but to answer your previous question, if you're talking about field mappings from here, then all of the values for the field mappings is available, and it's recommended that you map each and every single value between the two. Don't leave any uh, value unmapped, because then if, if at all you were to change a value that is not mapped to a Salesforce value, then it's going to screw up your, your workflow, because it's going to show no mapping, and then it's never going to update itself. So we can talk about, I mean, if this is something that's concerning you or if it's confusing enough, you can always call into the desk support center and maybe ask for me and then I can explain in detail what I'm talking about. Or just send us an email. All right, uh, next question here. Um, our organization is using Salesforce for internal company cases. Now we're interested in adding, adding Desk Connect. Can you share best practices for having two types of cases, one of, uh, one of which should not sync to Desk? Uh, what I would suggest is since we cannot change Desk Connect's ability to sync to, to the standard object in Salesforce, for your internal tickets in Salesforce, you can create a custom object and push all of those internal cases into the custom object empty the standard case object and then start using desk connect and then all of your support cases will then move to the cases object so i would recommend move your internal tickets to a custom object for best practices all right great another question here um, if we do not want to sync a particular field on a contact say email uh, from desk.com to Salesforce, can we do that? But we might want to display the email value on contact in Salesforce in desk.com. Um, I know you cannot do that. If you update a value on a customer 
object in desk and if it's mapped then that value will show up on the Salesforce contact object. If you don't want that to happen, you can, you can definitely turn the field mappings off from here, but for a standard field such as email, you cannot control the, control the thing. So that would be a no. Okay. Uh, next question here. Can you assign a case automatically based off of a Salesforce contact or field? You can, but then you would need to create your own workflows. So whenever a case comes into Salesforce, you would need to create your own assignment role to be able to assign it to a particular agent based on the contact and the name. Yeah, you can do that, definitely. Okay, and looks like this is a follow-up to one of the previous questions. Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, can we selectively prevent any particular field value two-way sync between desk and Salesforce? Oh, yes. Definitely, yes. That's why, well, that's what selective, so I mean, you want to map the record, but you don't want to map the field. In that case, don't map it to anything here. Keep it at no mapping. So you can only do this for custom fields. For standard fields, you still cannot. For standard fields, such as title, email, name, for the contact object, if it's populated with the name in desk, it has to be populated with the same name in Salesforce. I mean, it'll sync over to Salesforce with the same name. So no for standard fields, yes for custom fields. Okay, great. Uh, looks like we have one more question for now. Again, if you guys do have questions, I encourage you guys to type them into the questions panel. Uh, but last one for now. Uh, can we use a different case record type for differentiating internal cases and desktop.com cases? Of course, yes. You can create record types in Salesforce, and then you can also push these record types from here. So I can say, yeah, you can you can push record types. Uh, so we can create a record type for desk cases in Salesforce. When these cases sync to Salesforce, you can say, you know, I want this particular record type for my cases uh, when they go from desk to Salesforce. And so, yeah, they will be different from the, the rest of your cases. Okay. Uh, let's check if there are any more questions here. Okay, it looks like there aren't. Uh, so we'll go ahead and end here. We'll give you guys back 15 minutes of your time. Um, if you guys do have any questions uh, after this webinar, I encourage you guys to email support at desk.com uh, for any desk, desk doc, um, any desk connect questions or even any other desk uh, desk. Uh, dot com questions if you have any. Um, also, our support site, support.desk.com, is a really great resource, not only for Desk Connect, but all things desk.com. So check those out, uh, as well as our video support center, um, where we have uh, other Desk Connect webinars, as well as a lot, a lot of great video content. Uh, so thanks for joining everyone today. Thanks, Amrita, for uh, your time and for showing us around. And have a great day, everyone. Take care. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.